Well, I've had some tree problems. That is a beautiful tree, big oak tree. Uh, one guy said he thought it was a water oak. I really don't know what kind of oak it is. It's a small, they got a real small leaf on it. But uh, it's just been dropping limbs like crazy for the last two or three years. A lot of dead limbs are dying. Uh, hope the, hopefully the tree's not dying, but I had to come in here. Uh, the other day, about a month ago, we had a storm come through and I had some limbs that were coming way over here and were draping over my power line there. And it took the power line all the way to the ground, took the cable all the way to the ground, broke the cable, but the power line was still attached to the weather head up there on the house. And so it didn't, I didn't lose power, thank goodness, but I did lose cable and you know, that's almost as bad. <laughs> okay, maybe not. So I had Encore come out and the cable company come out. Encore did some trimming. I asked him if he would trim some of these. Uh, while he was up here, he had a big bucket truck and uh, he restrung the line, pulled it a little tighter because it was kind of low there. Cement trucks and other stuff uh, had some issues when it came to uh, going under my wire. I always had to raise it up, but uh, uh, And then I was just, just gonna wait till it started budding out to see how much of the tree uh, If I was gonna be able to save the tree at all and again beautiful beautiful tree right here uh, in the driveway uh, And just don't don't really want to lose that tree and I might anyway, but uh, we're trying to save it so they came in here the other day and uh, that one limb right there, that one huge limb, that was, that's probably 18 inches in diameter, just that one limb. The tree is probably 40, I would say at least 36, if not 40 inches in diameter. And so they cut uh, on it. It was hard, it was dead. I mean, it was hard, hard wood. And uh, just took him a while to cut through some of that stuff. But it, uh, they came in, cut all this up, uh, and uh, I recommend that tree service if you're in East Texas. It's a wise tree service, and uh, boy, they do a good job. They don't, they're not gonna kill you on the price, and uh, just to really do a really good job. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping. Uh, cutting it back, cutting all the dead limbs out, which I probably also got some of the mistletoe and stuff out of it. Uh, I'm hoping I can save this tree. I've been losing a lot of trees. When the guys came out to fix my dam, they, uh, they pushed down four trees for me that were dead. Uh, big oak trees. I mean, I'm just covered with big oak trees. My property is just, is just beautiful with oak trees. But there's a disease in Texas, contagious, and uh, it's just, boy, there's so many dead, or dead and dying oak trees in Texas. And uh, since I'm covered, I probably, when we moved out here, I bet we had 50 big oak trees. Of course, they're a lot bigger now. It's been 40 years ago. But uh, some of them are running their course maybe. Some of them are just got that canker. And this one did because the limbs showed it. You can tell in the bark. And uh, the tree guy said that's what it was. And if it's, you know, if it was on those, if it was on the dead limbs, then it's probably, it's probably too late to save the tree. But maybe a year or two from now, we'll have to take it down. Hope not but I didn't want anything coming near this wire anymore. I, I had them cut everything off way out there because I don't want anything near that wire that's going to knock my power out, knock my cable out. So we got it trimmed up. Good company, wise tree service. Tell them Texas Prepper 2 sent you, and if you're in East Texas, they'll come fix you up, and they're not going to charge you an arm and a leg. It ain't going to be cheap, but it ain't going to be what some of them charge. I can tell you that right now. So anyway, that's what it looks like now. That they've got through with it, but it's alive and maybe we can keep it that way. We'll see. Beautiful tree right there. I had a, 
had a limb coming over right there that had a swing on it and had to because it was dead had to take it off so got to find another place for my swing and uh but uh sometimes you just got to cut them down sometimes you just got to cut them down sometimes they're just going to die hopefully this one will be saved i don't have a whole lot of hope for it but you just never know all right we're gone